Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday night. Come on in and join me for the energy focus for the week. Over here live on Facebook in the Empowered Spirit Circle and going live over here on Instagram. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to the Empowered Spirit Show. This is the energy focus for the week. My name is Terri Ann Hyman. Where I come on live, we talk about the cosmic forces. Boy, do we have a lot coming up to talk about. And we align our energy for the week ahead. So first and foremost, how is everybody doing? On the podcast this week, I had a great guest. Her name was Wendy Van Allen. And we talked about the idea of like feeling like you've been worn down, feeling like, oh my God, you've lost some faith. Hey, Kika, like where is that flame within me? And where is the flame of Mother Earth right now? How can we return to that? I mean, we all know you know, global crisis, the energy, the environment is really messed up right now. And so it's really an idea time to relight your own energy, do your own healing work, and let that expand out into the consciousness. So we talked about all the many ways that spirituality can come into play and how you can relight that faith in you. Check it out. She's really awesome. She's up in the New York area. She really helps us to understand more about the idea of cauldron. You know, I thought a witch's cauldron, I thought it was a witch's cauldron. Let's just talk about that, like the black cauldron. I thought it was like kind of limited to the witch. But really, she really opened up that whole idea of the cauldron being more of a symbol of Mother Earth and how we can all do our own work, the footprints we leave, how we choose to show up in the world to help that consciousness for each and every one as well as ourselves. So it was a really great podcast. Check it out. A big shout out to my sponsor, Forecast Salon, great hair salon located here in Homewood, Alabama, really dedicated to education, creativity, great in color. Check them out if you are local. So the big news this week coming up is the new moon coming in, new moon in Pisces. We just moved into Pisces yesterday. Pisces is deep. Pisces is sensitive. They're intuitive. It's the very last of the zodiac will, right? We start over with spring and Aries. So Pisces is really asking you to go deep within. This is the last new moon of winter. What are your dreams? What have you been working on all winter? And how can you bring in that spiritual aspect? Kind of like what we were talking about in the podcast. How can you bring in that spiritual aspect to your life? Now, the other thing coming in besides the new moon, which comes in depending on where you are, but in the in central time, it's early, early in the morning. If you're geek out in California, it's late tonight. So the new moon is in Pisces. It is coming up. And it is a time to really slow down. Now, we have some influences coming in with Saturn. Saturn is our structure. It's our to-do list. It's our getting done. And it's going to move into Pisces on the 7th. So more on that full moon energy. But it's going to be with us as we move through March. And it's really going to help us bring our work into the physical. So why am I mentioning it this week? Because the intentions that you set for this new moon, those are really important. They're helping you come out of winter with all those dreams and visions and all that healing you've been doing during the winter and then put it into the physical form. So if you feel like you're ready to get going, you're ready to put something in action, now's the time to bring it forward. So the new moon intentions that you set tomorrow when you activate this energy for yourself is to really, really go in and say, what is it? What is it I want to let go of and not bring in? That's important too. But what can you bring forward? What do you want to initiate into the physical world? And when we have the energy of Saturn, we also have some Pluto energy coming in too, but that's going to really help you to get it done, get it out into the world, really giving you that support. So think big, really think big. And it is time to open up. We're moving through a big, huge change in humanity. We're moving through it through these cosmic forces. Planets are moving direct. You're going to start to feel it, right? And we always know we come out of winter. Sometimes that's the biggest, I think, it's the biggest transition. We're deep. We don't want to undo ourselves, right? We're all bundled up, covered in layers. Sometimes it's like, yeah, give me into spring. And sometimes like, oh, no, I need a little more. Where are you? Are you ready to move into the spring? Are you ready to open up to these ideas? I think I am. I've been doing a lot of deep work. I've been doing a lot of great things going on within me. And I am like stronger than I've ever been. My health is really good. I am ready to open up. I was outside today. One of my girlfriends, we were looking at the plants. All right, here in Alabama, we had some really big cold in December. And I don't know what's going to come back around. So there is that mystery of like, what is going to bloom? What isn't? And we ask that self, it's a great reflection for ourselves. Like within you, what is going to bloom? What is it? 
What are those questions that you can ask yourself? So this is the work we really want to start out the week with of really writing down, really bringing forward things that you can change, things that you can shift, things that you can open up your life to. And that's what we want to see. It's time to get out of the old patterns. It's time to get out of the comfort zone. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me say that, but it is so true. So you can step by step, intention by intention, start to really put this energy out. We don't have the retrogrades going on. You don't feel as much struggle or what's the resistance is the word I was looking for. So now is the time to continue to go deep within. Bring your spiritual work out into the physical. I really feel like that's exactly what this new moon is talking to us about. So slow down. All right. Take these last few weeks. We've got what? Less than a month, maybe a month to the 21st. All right. So we've got about four weeks left of spring, of winter. Slow down. Access the energy deep within you. Check into your intuition. Don't get caught in illusions. Go deep into what your gut is telling you to do. Go deep into that part of you that you know what you want to bring forward. So set some time aside this week to really kind of do this, especially tomorrow. If you're in the Energy Mastery group with me, we will be doing a new moon activation. We do it at noon tomorrow. If you want to be in the Energy Mastery, it's a membership group I have. Hit me up for information. It's a great way to work together get sessions with me. The membership is only like $33 a month. So come join us. If you're interested, let me know. So wherever you are tomorrow, take some time, get into your energy, go deep within your spirit, ask these important questions, write down your intentions. And really it is that time to start to like, you know, like that little seed, poke your head up, start to feel the green within you, open your heart, lead from your heart and know that now is a time to feel positive and more direct in your energy. It's going to be a big month coming in in March. So go ahead and set your energy up now for that as well. All right. Let me know how that feels. Ellen, how are you? How are you feeling? Write down. Yes, definitely write down your new intentions. Take some time. Really go into that inner part of you. Feel your power, that solar plexus energy. Pisces is deep. It's emotional. It's water. All right. And so help you. Help, have that help you, as I'm trying to say. Have that cosmic force help you. Bring that spiritual aspect. You'll find a deepness in your life. You'll feel that depth for what you're doing. You'll feel that you are on purpose. And we are going into more of a time of living from purpose. Not so much of the monetary ways and all that big business. Some of that's falling down, guys. So really having that purpose and living from that place of your heart is some of the energy coming forward as we move into this new moon, the last new moon of winter. All right, let's pull that energy in. Take a pause. Call back your energy from the week and set some intentions moving ahead. Taking a nice deep inhale if you can. Light a little fire. Sage, incense, as we call in the elements, calling in the element of fire. Feel that spark of energy coming forward for you. Noticing the element of air as it turns into smoke, breathing, clearing the mind, clearing the space. Call in the element of water, this Pisces energy opening up to your heart, the intuitive force within you. Call in the element of earth to ground all this energy in for you. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, pulling that breath all the way down deep into the earth, calling all your energy back into you. Call it in. Call in your spirit. Feel the alignment right on top of the physical body. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, dropping right into the heart. In the very center of the heart, feel that connection that you have with your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, supported, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around you. As we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, feel their joy and love. Calling in the crystal beings and your own spirit guides. Calling all this energy in around you as we take this moment. Noticing where you are on this great wheel of life. Here we are in this northern hemisphere in the last part of winter, the direction of the north. Pull in your dreams, your visions, all that you've been moving through this winter. Pull it in right into the heart so that you can access this energy through your intentions as you move through these cosmic forces. Dropping into the heart, setting your intention. One of those intentions. You can set many intentions. Go ahead and set an intention for this week. In the deepest part of your heart, 
And then just let it radiate out all around you, setting that energy out into your energy field. Feel it all around. Setting that energy. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Grounding, opening the third eye, dropping into the heart, feeling the connection with Mother Earth. One more deep inhale. And exhale, just feeling that energy grounding with you, bringing your awareness back, blinking the eyes open, coming back. We have some really great cards, perfect alignment for this week. The first card is the Eight of Fire. And this is a card that shows like, all right, get everything lined up. Passion, purpose, stand up there, be perched. Look at the portal of energy. That's what March is going to feel like. This portal is going to open, so get things ready. Be inspired. Bring your purpose forward. Rekindle that flame within you. Things are going to take off. It's a very promising new moon. It really is very positive. So the cards that come in to kind of work with this energy, Father of Water. This is like that compassionate person, that King Arthur energy. Open your heart. Share your intentions with others as you do the work for you. Nurturing care. This is a very grounding, paternal energy, very loving energy. And then the other card that comes in, Ace of Water, new self-love for you. Feel that new energy coming in, especially as we begin to open up to the energy of spring. Feel that love for yourself. Aces are about potential. What is that potential love you can bring in? The heart, the sun, that water, that flow of energy. That's Pisces energy. And then we have the ace of air. All right. That is like new mindset. We need a new mindset. All of us, right? It is time to shed that outer layer. We're starting to move through. I know I'm kind of jumping on spring. I guess I am feeling ready to open up. But we do have the time. This Pisces energy gives us that last little bit of really going deep within so that we can open up into that new season. So get ready. Get things in alignment. Know your passion. Know your purpose. Line up. Be perched. Ready to go. The portal is going to open. Have a compassionate heart for yourself. First and foremost, do the work for yourself and then open it up to others. New love. New heart. New intuitive guidance, you can even look at it like that, along with a new mindset. Perfect energy for this new moon coming in this week. Definitely know your passion, know your purpose, bring your spiritual practice out into the world with you. All right, take a nice deep inhale. I'll pull some cards if anybody's open for cards. I do have a Reiki 2 class if you're local in Birmingham, March 18th and 19th. I will be over at Ritual Shelter for the full moon, March 7th. We're going to do sound bowls. It's going to be a really fun night. And my yoga classes, Tuesday morning at the Yoga Circle, Awaken Yoga, and I also teach Friday Restorative. All right, Kika, a card for you. Kika, Eight of Earth. This goes right along with that Eight of Fire. You're building your work. It's starting to work. Don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing. Look at the foundation, and more is coming. Eight is that infinite potential. Abundance is coming in for you. Love this card for you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep having more of those Reiki circles, right? Definitely. Let me know how that feels. Carla, Carla, we got the two of air. All right, Carla, is there some indecision, something you're trying to juggle and figure out? Sometimes when this card comes up, there's two ways you can look at it. Either get your heads out of the clouds or know that sometimes we have more information that's coming in. And I feel like this is speaking to that for you. More information is coming in for a decision. Are you trying to make a decision? Let me know how that resonates with you. We'll see if we can bring up some more energy. Yes, very cool. You're right, Kiko. Absolutely. All right, Ellen. I'm glad you're feeling better, Ellen. Ellen, we got the mother of fire. So this is like that energy that helps you to really activate your cause, your purpose. Stand up for what you believe in. This is activism. And I know you do a lot of that in New York City. I've seen you up there. So continue to do that. It's good for all of us, for sure. All right, definitely. Anybody else on that would like a card? Let me know if I've missed you. So we do have a very powerful week. It is coming around, so don't forget to set your intentions. Slow down, all right? I know I'm already ready for spring, so I say that to myself as well. Slow down. Process your energy. Yes, you had a question mark, right, Carla? Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit. Twos are about duality of life, and this is in the mind. So sometimes it's like trying to figure out something in the mind, all right? That's what that is about, definitely. All right, you guys. 
check out the podcast. It's a great episode about rekindling your own life as well, looking at the idea of the cauldron of Mother Earth. Be inspired to bring those intentions out into the world. Take some time tomorrow as that new moon comes in. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening to your spirit. Namaste.